if you feel like you don't fit into this world, it's because you were here to create a better one. Author unknown. That's a quote I've shared before, um, at least on Instagram, and I came across it again, and I just thought it was worth sharing just in case you needed to hear it. But anyway, it is Friday morning, and there's about to be a big snowstorm that's going to hit Boulder. I think it's going to start uh, maybe this afternoon, evening, and then go all the way through Monday, and we're going to get about 30 inches. So plan is right now, um, do a quick warm up, get my run in. Today is supposed to be one of my heavier strength training sessions, so I'm going to try to fit that in. But then I really need to go to the store just to make sure Sage and I have enough food for the weekend. Um, and maybe that seems silly, You're like, oh, the roads are going to get plowed and it'll be fine to drive the store. But the running joke in Boulder is that the bike paths get plowed before the roads. And we also don't salt our roads here, so even with the plow, like, our roads are pretty treacherous when it snows until it warms up. So it's better just to be stocked up in these situations. So uh, I'm going to do that, and hopefully it doesn't start raining and then turn into snow out of my run, because that's the worst. I can handle, like, warm rain, um, or at least, like, high 40s to above running in the rain, and I can handle snow, but when it there's been a few times here where it's been just above freezing and raining and then it turned to snow on my run and it just turned into a popsicle. So I'm going to try to avoid that and just be efficient with my warm-up and run this morning. So this pre-run warm-up is going to be focused on low back and hip mobility. So I'll take you through a few mobility exercises and then as always I'll finish off with some activation exercises. You know me, um, you know I like to finish off the activation exercises just to get the body primed and ready to go before I run. Um, and just so you guys know, um, sometimes videos like this can get pretty long, so on um, Mind and Sage's combined YouTube channel, um, I think if you just type in higher running on YouTube, you'll find it. Um, I've been posting short clips, um, just so if you're like short on time or let's say you're at the track, you want to do a pre-run warm-up, but can't remember everything you want to do, um, you could just pull up a, like a really short video and follow along. So actually this morning, um, as I was procrastinating a little bit, which is not a good morning to do that, um, I posted a little video on um, marching drills. Um, and I guess it's more of a dynamic warm up. So, you know, you could take that with you, just pull it up really quick if you're on the go. Um, so I'm going to try to do more of that just so you have just quick resources um, and not have to watch through a whole long video to find what you want. So, all right, time for me to stop procrastinating and get this warm up in and go for a run.
that's it for the back and hip pre-run mobility routine. Time to go run. Unfortunately, I cannot take you with me because my GoPro, I guess it died last week. I haven't looked at it actually since um, filming last week, but I tried to turn it on and it didn't work. So unfortunately, I won't be able to take you with me on the run, but I will check back with you after. Oh man, I'm at King Supers right now and it is hopping. I don't know why, why I waited to like around rush hour to go. I normally try to go to the grocery store when it's not very crowded, um, but I think everybody had the same idea today too, just to stock up before the blizzard comes in. But my question for you is what would you stock up on if you knew a blizzard was coming? Sage, we all know your answer is beer. My answer, I'm not sure yet, uh, definitely getting Making sure I have oatmeal, peanut peanut butter is a big one for me. So maybe I'll, I'll go with peanut butter as that, but also just stock up on everything. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go inside and then ready for hibernation, at least for the weekend. Oh man. Whew. Okay, so three flights of stairs. That was by far my hardest workout of the week. Whew. So as an introvert, I found grocery shopping a little bit stressful today, but it got done. And now I can just hibernate over the weekend. I'll just step outside to go run through the snow. Procrastinating on putting groceries away, thought I'd update you a little bit on what's been going on. I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but uh, the Salida run through time, marathon and half marathon, it was supposed to be this weekend. But due to the forecast, it got canceled and it's now postponed till next weekend. So hopefully heading down there next weekend. Um, but I'm really actually glad it didn't happen this weekend because I, w I was doing fine with my running form um, and just retraining motor patterns. But today, like, I was, I was feeling really off on my run. And even just walking around the grocery store, I'm like, this doesn't feel right. So I need to take a step back and think about what happened, um, that I took a big step back. Hopefully it doesn't last, hopefully I can readjust. Um, I think if I'm being honest with myself, which I don't want to be, I think maybe I try to push the miles a little too much. And because in my head, I don't feel like my mileage is that high. Uh, but I, if I think about it, I felt better when I was running a decent amount less. So I think, We'll see. I'll try to take a step back and see if that does help and then um, slowly progress from there. And I did get something to help me with that, to help me with cross training, which I'll show you in a little bit. We'll see. Um, I'll see Dr. Caitlin again next week. I'm starting to feel like I have something wrong with my left hip. Like it just doesn't want to seem, it doesn't hurt, but it doesn't want to seem to go through a range of motion as it should, especially through extension. And I was doing good with the extension, but in my last video, you can kind of see it where I wasn't extending my left leg as well again. Um, so I think maybe all this has something to do with it, but this is just theory right now. A little frustrating, but I don't really have any goal races um, planned right now, just so I can be okay with taking a step back. So we shall see. Um, but good news, things have calmed down a little bit. Like things are always busy, especially when you own your own business. However, it's like a busy now that doesn't induce stress. So that's good. And some good, really good things came out of next week, which I am very excited to share with you, but I can't do it right yet, right now. But I, you'll definitely see some changes in the future. And more exciting news, I think, Hopefully, as this video launches, the new higher running website's uh, gonna be launched. And big shout out to Steven Noza. Um, he has a really good, entertaining YouTube channel. Uh, very professionally done and very funny. So go follow him, and you know you can th you can really partly, or I should say, mostly thank him. 
Maybe I'm not saying that right, but he um, he helped a lot with with the new hire running um, dot com website and Sage we Shade and I we honestly would have been lost without him. Um, so big thanks to him and I'm excited for you guys to finally see the new website. I think hopefully it'll be a nice surprise, um, especially comparing it to the old website. And yeah, time to put groceries away. We'll come before the storm. We'll see if you think. I'm cool or not <laughs> after you see what's in this. By the way, this is not a product plug. Paid for these babies myself. It's gonna be money very well spent. Oh my gosh, another big box. Here we go. See if I can actually open it. There we go. This one go out of the way. Here we go. Yay! New rollerblades. I had rollerblades before, but I left them in Ohio because they weren't very good. And so my sister actually already got these, and I tried them on, and I'm like, oh, these are way better than, than my old ones. So, got a new pair of rollerblades. Would like to use them, but it's about to snow, but hopefully sometime next week things will clear up, and I'll be rolling all around Boulder. All right, got some miso soup going on here. Miso soups. Cook it in there, got some mushrooms, got tofu and the broccoli in the fridge, I'll add spinach, then some udon noodles over here. I always like some udon noodles and miso um, for a really quick recipe, especially on colder nights, so super easy plant-based meal. There's the finished product. Nice meal on a chilly evening. And that's a wrap for this video. As always, thanks for watching. Hopefully, fingers crossed next time, I'll get my GoPro um, working so I can take you on runs with me again. And yeah, that's it. Until next time, keep running wild.